Hello, I'm John Paul, and today we're going to fit a Revotech electric fan conversion onto this 91 300 TDI Defender 90. The first job is to remove the existing viscous fan. To get an inch and a quarter spanner, just remember this is left hand thread, so you will have to do it the wrong way. Spanner on, use the hammer, give it a good tap, and spin the fan all the way off, just be careful not to drop it. We've disconnected the battery which is located underneath the seat on this vehicle. We're then going to remove the top hose, drain the water and remove the top plate from the radiator so we can mount the fan to the top bracket. To take off the top mount of the radiator we need to take off these two mounting brackets, one each side. They've got M6 nuts and bolts so to get to the nut underneath you need to remove the front radiator grill. Four screws in the front and remove the grill then we can get to the nuts underneath these brackets. We're now going to mount the fan in its mounting brackets. So if you lay them on a on the bench to get them to the right uh, position, then use these M6 Allen key screws and make sure that they come up from the back, come through the fan, so the nuts are on the outside. With the fan mounted in its brackets, let's just check that the holes all align up in the top radiator bracket before we fit the fan. Now the fan's mounted to the bracket, so we're just going to mount the relay, little M5 bolt through the back of the bracket. Screw it together. Tighten that up, then we're going to lower the fan into place and attach it to the top radiator mount. With the fan mounted to the top radiator bracket, you've got to drop the, the new fan into the existing cowling brackets at the bottom of the radiator at the same time as fitting it onto the two top pins of the radiator and the two top pins of the intercooler. Tighten up the four M8 bolts on the top radiator mount and refit the two radiator brackets. Bolt them up and replace the grill. We're now going to fit the water temperature sender in the top hose. So probably a good idea just to mount it roughly where you think you're going to put it. Just mark on the top hose of the pen where you're going to cut the hose. Then drop the water, remove the hose, cut the pipe, and then we're going to fit the sender unit. We've cut about 20 millimeters out the hose. We've fitted the temperature sender unit. We're using the existing clips on the end of the top hose. Then the new clips that come in the uh, kit tighten everything up then we'll move on to the wiring I couldn't find an adequate ignition feed under the bonnet so what I've done I've taken a, a small ignition feed that was already in the wiring loom fitted a relay taken a power from the battery fused it fitted the relay on this inner side wing and then wired it as to the wiring diagram we've put everything back together we're ready to do, top it up with water now to so remove the cap from the top of the radiator, top it up with antifreeze, once that filled up replace the cap and then fill the header tank up, start the engine, get it up to temperature and then use a little screwdriver and the underside of the um, temp water temperature sensor there's a little screw, it moves 90 degrees one way to 90 degrees the other so when it's up to temperature you alter the screw to get the fan on at the correct temperature, once it's on you then replace the cap. 